Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna go over my project tracker template. It's available for download on my website. I'll leave a link in the video description. And this is a template that I use, and it's it's useful if you wanna track your time on, on a project, especially if you're billing for it. And how it works is, you know, you select the a project from a drop-down list, and you can, you can modify this list. I have company names, but you can put project names. And then when you're starting on it, you you click this button for the start and it'll populate the current time. And then when you're done, hit the end button. And as long as you've got details in here, then what it's going to do is add to this list. So you'll have a, a description of, you know, what the project was, the details, how much time you spent on it, the start and end. And I've also got a week ending value here as well, just in case you want to track your hours by, by week, right? So, and then if I go to the summary tab, there's a pivot table here that you can refresh to see how much time you've spent on each project. And here's my project list. So this is for that drop down list. So I can modify this however I want to. And so I'll show you an example of how this works. So let's say I started, you know, working on project, project A. And let's say uh, began testing the template. All right. And then I'm going to hit the start button here. So it's gonna put the, the current date and, and time. And you know this is when you would go ahead and start to work on your file. Now I would suggest saving the template just in case you're working on a file that crashes and you know you, you lose this timestamp, right? You don't want that to happen. So I, I would suggest saving anytime you do this after you run the Mac, just in case for those purposes. And then, you know, let's say once you're done, you hit the end button, at which point it'll calculate that difference put it down here. So obviously just a negligible amount of time, but it gives you the hours spent, that sort of thing. It logs the project, the details, all that stuff. If I go to the summary tab, I can refresh the data. And now I've got a list of that, that time. So it's useful if you have a certain amount of hours you need to, to work on or that, that you're aiming for in a week. So you can track that, you know, you can easily update the list. And it makes it easy to you know just save it, work on something else. I find it's a lot easier than using potentially a stopwatch where you may you know may may lose track of you know where where you started, where you're ending, or what you're working on. So I think this can be helpful, especially if you've got a lot of projects or a lot of customers you're working with, and you want an easy way to track it and also see a summary of 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 the work you've you've been doing, especially if later on you have to go back and to see what it is that you're working on during that that time frame especially if you have to justify your hours or whatever the case may be it's a lot easier to keep a log that way so i'll probably expand on this uh template make it bigger in the future but for right now uh, um right it's just going to be for tracking time right now so uh let me know your feedback any comments any suggestions and hope you find this template useful